Hello YouTube. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get the handy Atari Lynx emulator to automatically go to full screen when you launch it through Maximus Arcade. Because for some reason the uh, handy emulator, uh, even if you're running in full screen, once you close it out and you restart it, it will default back to windowed mode for some reason. And Maximus Arcade, all it can do about that is um, make it maximize as opposed to go to full screen. So, first off, we're going to start off by getting ourselves a handy uh, emulator, version 0.9, and a, cop a program called Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey is a scripting program that uh, will basically tell the handy emulator to go to full screen once, once it's launched. It will automatically send a command to it saying Alt Enter, which is the command to go to full screen. Okay, so get those two programs and install them both. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. I assume you already know how to do that. Installing some programs are pretty easy. Alright, handy. The one thing I am going to mention about the handy emulator is two, two settings. First you want to set uh, normal mode to windowed and you want to set four times screen zoom. Um, as you guys are aware, the handy emulator, even when maximized, will not actually stretch the image to all sides of your screen. It will just leave it this size. Silly emulator. I really don't like it. <laughs> it needs some work. Alright, so once you have those two settings done and your handy emulator and everything's installed, go to your install folder for your handy, right click, new, text document, and we're going to rename it handy underscore AHK is an auto hotkey dot AHK. Change file extension? Yes, we do want to change it. Now, right click, edit script, and we're going to copy and paste. You'll find all this in my the information, uh, the description for my video. So, I'm going to paste that into auto hotkey. This command here, basically right here highlighted, this will basically look for the handy window and then press Alt Enter. The sleep command is a timeout command. It basically waits a certain amount of time before it sends this command to the emulator once it's launched. If you set this number too low, it could um, not work properly. Uh, with a fast machine, uh, you can actually get away. With my computer, uh, I find about 500 is actually a good time. But for the purposes purposes of this video, I'm going to be setting it to 3,000. You can bring down that number and cater it to your system. All right, we're going to close and save. And then we're going to take that script we just made, right click again, right click it, and go compile script. And that, what that's going to do is create an exe file to that script. So if we double click this, basically what it's going to do is it's going to look for the uh, handy window and then it's going to press Alt Enter. Okay, uh, basically we're pretty much ready to set this up in Maximus Arcade. Now for me personally, I use, um, I use XPatter to uh, configure my game control to use it through handy. So as a bonus for this video I will quickly show you how I've set up my XPatter settings to launch. I'm going to create a batch file by creating a new text document Atari Lynx.bat. Change uh, file extension, yes. Right click, edit. Copy paste and basically it just launches these two things the handy uh, script for AHK and it also launches my Atari Lynx XPatter profile close save okay next you're going to open up your Maximus Arcade preferences um, actually you want to run Maximus Arcade then go to your preferences uh, because not all these sometimes not all the settings take effect in the preferences window unless you've already got 
Maximus Arcade running. Okay, set up your emulator. Choose the handy, of course. And launch. We're going to leave it blank. Windows state, normal. Pre-launch. Here's where we set up our batch file that launches the handy AHK file as well as my uh, XPatter profile. Okay, so once that's all saved and closed, of course you're going to run your Maximus Arcade. And uh, let's see if this works. Now, when I launch this, just so you guys are aware, uh, I'm using Cam Studio to do this video. So the video might look a little weird. Um, I think it actually will display the game in the top left of my screen, even though when I'm watching the video, uh, making this video, um, the handy emulator is running in the middle of my screen. So we're gonna try Batman Begins. Let's see if this goes to auto. Let's see if this goes to full screen. And there we go. It automatically launched it to full screen. And hopefully you can see the, the game running here. Again, I'm using Cam Studio, and sometimes it doesn't like to display videos at all. And I'll try running uh, Alien vs. Predator as well. And it automatically goes to full screen. Alien vs. Predator. And it's running through my game controller. I don't have to use my keyboard because we set it up to launch my X-Fighter profile. So there we go. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. Um, Auto Hotkey is a great program for uh, sending commands. So uh, take a look at that script, and um, you should also check out on the Maximus Arcade forums. Um, somewhere did I? Oh, I'm not actually on that page, am I? Oh, here it is. Yes, in the Maximus Arca Maximus Arcade for forums uh, under Bash Files, I wrote. Uh, I was helping. I helped somebody out write a script for running Crime Control as well, which basically is doing the same thing we've done here, which is downloading Auto Hotkey, putting in the script, which just sends the F key, which goes to full screen. Um, yeah. So uh, if you're thinking about other emulators that won't do certain commands when you launch them, um, take a look at maybe some of my coding here and you might be able to figure out how it works. It's actually not too complicated. Uh, the Auto, Auto Hotkey website has, you know, uh, a quick tutorial, quick start tutorial that shows you how to do a bunch of stuff. And it also has useful documentation. One thing I'll note is if you go into documentation, keyboard, mouse, joystick references, It'll actually give you the name of all the specific keys. And it is case sensitive, so if you type in right, it has to be uppercase. So yeah, definitely take a look at that if you're going to try and write your own scripts. Um, I'm actually an AHK noob. I don't know very much about auto hotkey at all, but even I was able to figure out how to do this stuff, so it's not too hard. Very simple programming. Alright, thank you very much YouTube and have a great day.